Hi, my name is Alex and this is Epi and today I'm going to show you three fun games that you can play with your dog and hopefully make living with them a little bit easier. The first game we're going to play is Tug, but we're putting a little bit of a spin on it so that your dog builds some self-control. Alright, so to play Tug, you're going to need a couple of things. First, you're going to need some treats. Second, you're going to need a tug toy. And third, a willing participant. So let's get started. Use a high-pitched voice. Hey, Epi, come over here. Get him super excited and start getting him interested in this toy. Once when he's really engaged, you're going to do a couple of things. You're going to reach into your treat bag, pull out some treats, and put it right in front of his nose. And right when he lets go of the toy, you're going to use your marker word, mind yep, you're going to use your marker word to indicate that he's doing what we're looking for. And what we're looking to see him do is let go of the toy and stop engaging. So this is how it works. Pull it out. Yep. Give him treats. I like to use the toy as a reward as well for them doing a behavior that we like. So for example, I can have my dog sit. Hey, Epi, sit. Yep. And then reward him by giving him the toy. Get it. Urgh. So after you've played this part of the game a few times and your dog is used to letting go of the toy and grabbing some treats, juicy treats from your hand, that's when you can add in the, uh, the Q word. Drop it. Yep. Good boy. Now, if your dog starts letting go right when you say the word drop it, you don't have to reach into your treat pouch at the same time. You can actually just say the word. So let's see what that would look like. Hey, if you get it. Drop it. Yep, good boy. So once when your dog is really comfortable playing this game with a tug toy, you can play the game with other things that you might not necessarily think of as a game. So let's say your dog is chewing on a paper towel or is, you know, gotten to the trash and has something in their mouth that you don't like. You can play this game with them so they willingly let go of whatever is in their mouth to orient to you. It's even better if you have some, you know, dog biscuits or some other treats in your pocket that you can use to reward them to indicate that they're doing what you're looking for. That way you're not like forcing their mouth open or like trying, you know, reaching down their throat to, you know, try to pull something out. The second game we're going to play is called Hide and Seek. Hide and Seek is a really great game to play with your dog if you're looking to work on their recall skills, uh, particularly recall skills when you're not visible. In order to play this game, it's best to start with another person. That way, your dog isn't tempted to run off and try to find you initially. Here I have Lauren holding Epi for me uh, as we play this game. So to start, have your assistant hold on to your dog and just walk a couple feet away. You don't want to be out of sight yet. Do this a couple of times and as you do that, increase the distance gradually. What we're trying to do is teach your dog that saying, come and find me means, hey, come over to me, try to find out where I am and get some treats. When you're reasonably confident that they understand what this word means, that's when you can go out of sight. Start simple by just walking around the corner uh, and saying, come find me. Then you can get a little bit more complicated and maybe go into another room and hide beneath the bed or, um, you know, go upstairs. The game is even more fun to play if your dog knows how to stay on command. That way you won't need to use an assistant to hold on to your dog. The last game we're going to play today is called Race Me. Race Me is a really good game to play with your dog if you're looking to increase their ability to focus in a distracting environment. So what you're going to do is grab a handful of treats and place the treats on the ground. Take your dog and walk with them a couple feet away. Then shout, race me, and run towards the treats. Once they beat you to the treats, they get all the treats. Start simple, just so that they learn how to play the game. Maybe only backing up five feet or so and letting them win every time. Then you can increase the distance, maybe 20, 30 feet, saying race me, and seeing if you can beat them to the treats. If you do beat them to the treats, you should try to pick them up and not let them hit them. We are playing a game after all. Be careful though, because you'll want them to win every once in a while.
So today I've shown you three games that you can play with your dog when you're at home so that they can have a little bit of extra fun. But what about when you're not at home? We make a tool called the Clever Pet Hub that exercises your dog's mind and body and it's filled full of puzzles and games that stay challenging for hours each day. I recommend that you check us out at clever.pet.